Well, now that summer is in full swing, if there's one thing we can all agree on, it's when the weather is nice, we don't want to waste a moment of precious outdoor time. That is for sure. For many, the summer is all about outdoor activities like hiking, kayaking, and sailing, all of which have been adapted for people with physical disabilities by the BC Mobility Opportunity Society. That's right. And last summer, they added adapted paddle boarding to their roster of fun activities. For those of you who aren't familiar with the sport, it's often done standing up, while propelling a surf-like board around the water. It's one of the fastest growing water sports in Vancouver, that is, and now wheelchair users can take part two in a specially designed paddleboard. Let's head to Vancouver to the Falls Creek Paddling Centre and meet up with Grant Hardy to find out how it's done. One of my dreams is to have a whale pop up while I'm paddleboarding. The first time I actually got on a paddleboard, um, I got a little bit teary-eyed because paddleboarding was something that I did prior to being in the wheelchair and of course it's something that you don't think you're ever going to get to do again. For the most part, as soon as I got out on the paddleboard and I got used to the paddling and the way that it felt, it was just complete freedom. I just got really super excited and fell in love with the sport. For Trevor Flynn, paddling is part of his regular routine and for good reason. For me, it was just a sense of freedom because you're out on the water doing everything that everybody else is doing, so society doesn't see you with a disability when you're out on the water. It was just a nice break to the standard stares that you get during your day. When you're out doing any sort of water sport, it's a completely different feeling. Um, you've got your freedom, you've got your independence, and it's just an overall good time. The adapted paddleboard allows Trevor to enjoy Vancouver's beautiful False Creek, which is home to BC Mobility Opportunity Society's Paddling Centre. Facilitator Jen Bogner is a university student who has a passion for water sports and inclusion. The paddleboard is a regular size bamboo paddleboard and then attached on either side, which is the same length of the board, is two floating pontoons and those pontoons give the board a bit of st extra stability and then attached on the center of the board is a mechanism that allows us to roll and secure a wheelchair onto the board. Um, so this allows us someone to go paddle independently depending on what their physical disability is or it also allows someone to stand behind them on the board and paddle tandem. It was nice to be able to see how you could easily um, manipulate the equipment or add different things to adapt to various people's um, physical disabilities. So for example, if someone has limited hand mobility, we can adapt the paddles so that it could fit their grip better or give them more support. So it was awesome to be able to see the range of people that all of this equipment can serve and how beneficial it would be for them uh, to be able to get out and do these sports. I think initially when people picture paddleboarding, they view it as something where they're going to fall in the water. Um, but once they come out and they see how the equipment works, how they're going to be on the board and they can be there themselves, um, the moment they're out in the water, they feel stable, they feel comfortable, and they're able just to really enjoy themselves. It sounded so appealing, I had to give it a try. Quickly pause in like a sec to grab a lifey. Of course. Okay. As I sat on the chair attached to the board, Jennifer stood behind me giving me directions and advice. Okay, I'm coming on, ready? Yes. I paddled around the busy waters of False Creek. Once I got the hang of it, it was remarkable sitting in the chair gliding on the water, which seems to be the experience for most new paddlers. Three on the left. When people are doing it for the first time, there is always a little bit of anxiety because it is such a new experience. But seeing their faces when they're out in the water and they're just so confident and beaming, um, that's like what makes my day and what I think is so amazing about this whole program. First couple times that I went paddleboarding, I noticed that people were shocked that I was out on a paddleboard. Because um, you know, you're sitting on a wheelchair on the paddleboard and it's not something that people see every day. And so for me, it was a really neat experience to see the looks on people's faces like, oh my goodness, this person is disabled, but they're out on paddleboarding. Like, I didn't know you could do that. For me, it's just a sense of showing people that, yeah, I might have a disability, but I'm still doing the same sports, and I'm still doing the same things that everybody else is doing. It's not stopping me.
Wow, that adapted paddleboarding program sounds like a win-win for everyone. I mean, it sounds like Trevor was having a blast. And as for the facilitators, what a cool and unique job opportunity for university students. You know, I think the most intriguing part for me was how the paddleboard was engineered. There is just no tipping that thing. Uh, what a great way to let everyone enjoy Vancouver's water playground. And I don't know about you, Jim, but I love being on the water. There's something so calming about it. I agree. I really enjoyed it as well, but uh, not many of us have your experience representing Canada as a world-class rower. Well, believe me, it's not something I take for granted. It's a huge honor. To find out about this or any of the other outdoor adventures the BC Mobility Opportunity Society offers, check out their website. It's bcmos.org.